I think we can all agree that this season alone has brought more changes to Fortnite than the previous two seasons combined. Between the car fights and mobility with the new Nitro system, a lot has changed since I claimed the Burst SMG to be the king of the chapter. You had a long run, my friend, but I'm afraid your reign is over because we're going to talk about the new king of chapter 5, as well as other S-tier combos, to piece together the best loadout for season 3 of Fortnite. Starting things off is the combat shotgun. This magnificent piece of work sits atop the throne as the best weapon in zero build right now. She's got more range than any shotgun in the current loot pool, and can deal significant damage between 5 and 25 meters, with a max range of 59 meters. This makes the combat shoddy excellent for a kiting style of combat, especially when you factor in her hipfire accuracy. Shooting an enemy on the move or mid-flight nonetheless is almost an effortless task, especially when you add a laser attachment. The gun is just a recipe for success in all styles of combat, and that's why she sits atop my list in the S tier class. Now building off that with a weapon that complements the combat shoddy is a boom bolt. Now the boom bolt covers your long range combat and makes for an insane counter against cars. She also makes for a good trip mine if you shoot them between doorways as an aggressive enemy presses you. But overall, there's a significant risk in using a boom bolt in close combat. This is why I find three weapon loadouts practical in some matches this season. Sometimes you need that third weapon to add a bit of balance and consistency between the combat and the boom bow. That spot is reserved for none other than the tactical AR. Quite arguably, the most disrespected and dismissed weapon in Fortnite history is back, and back with a vengeance. What makes the tactical AR so good is she's an absolute laser from point blank to about 100 meters out. It's the only AR you can pick up off the ground with little to no attachments, and she'll still do work to whoever dare enters your drop zone. I even took this baddie to a creative match to test her hipfire with a laser attachment, and the results floored me. I was outgunning shotguns within several meters at some point. I definitely did not expect that level of consistency. Now if we dive into the fine print of these three weapons and how they complement each other, there's a case to be made that these weapons represent an S tier class. However, there are two more weapons that I want to reserve for the S class. Both of them are shotguns that can replace the combat shoddy or one another. That's Oscar's Frenzy Auto and the Gatekeeper shoddy. Now I haven't used the Gatekeeper much this season, but the concept is the same as the Auto shoddy. Maximize interior damage, while the TAC AR and Boom Bolt cover your exterior damage. For those reasons, Oscar's Frenzy Auto and the Gatekeeper shoddy take the final spots in S tier as suitable subs for the combat shoddy. But that about wraps things up from here guys. As always, thank you for watching and be sure to follow for more tips from Clipped.